welcome to my vlog. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. This vlog is about my first National Rifle League match. After the end of the hunting season, I entered the National Rifle League match for some variation. Upon arrival at Klipskir, after the COVID routine and registration, we had a coffee and rusks. Then the briefing followed. Distances were updated, details and rules were confirmed and questions answered. Since I've been battling for months with my 6.5 Creek most accuracy and I already entered the clip scheme match I decided to opt for my 243 Winchester Culling Rifle. It is a Savage Model 12 LRP rifle which shoots 87 grain Hornaday VMAX bullets at 3200 FPS. She is scoped with a Delta Titanium 3-24x56 second focal plane rifle scope. I borrowed an adjustable stock for the Savage which sounded like a great idea at the moment. I changed stocks only moments before the match, this turned out to be a bad idea looking back. Changing the stock caused the point of impact shift and when I got to sighting in, I could hardly see where my bullet impacted the target as the target was already covered in bullet holes. To make things worse, the wind flipped the target over after my first shot. I just learned my first two NRL match lessons. Never change something at the last moment and never arrive at the match without a proper zero and expect there will be an opportunity to sight in your rifle scope. I'm getting ready for my first stage now, for my first ever stage in a, in a rifle shooting competition. So hold your thumbs, let's see how it goes. Stop! I just finished the first stage, I'm waiting for the second stage. The good news is I eat one gong, the bad news is I missed seven. So let's see how it goes for the rest of the, the competition. Impact! Okay, dial! Okay, look, I'll see with your dial. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, come Yes. 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 It was little animals, a gopher and two jackal on different distances. So you had to go up, shoot them from big to small, and then go back to all for different distances. It was a very interesting shoot because every time you have to move to a new target, you, you're dialing again. A lot of fun with changing conditions, changing wind. So let's see how it goes further. Ja, ja. 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 Ja, Hij heeft langs gegaan, heb je hem gezien? Ja. Is het te hoog of is het los? Ja, het is los. Ja, ik ga het schuiven. Ja. Kijk. Als je tijd schiet, je bent mooi raak. Jij is, ik zou zeggen, niet left edge. 
Moet niet omloos niet. Schiet niet op die lekker. seconds. Maar al. Alrighty then, come on. Maak dit vir een klein beetje hoor. Maak dit vir op 12 keer plaas. En dan so 11 uur. Maak vir so 11 uur pik wel. Impact! Daar is jou hal. Because every stage consists of 8 rounds that need to be fired and my magazine only takes 5, I had to borrow an extra magazine. I loaded each magazine with 4 rounds and did a mag change halfway. So I just finished my last stage now. I'd be very surprised if I'm not dead last. The last stage I at least eat four out of eight. It's one stage that I missed all eight targets and uh, two stages that I only need one each. But it's a, it's an excellent way to, to own your skills to do some shooting shooting competition. So I'm doing some more of this. I thoroughly enjoyed this National Rifle League match and can recommend it to anyone wanting to improve their shooting. If you enjoyed this vlog, please like, share and subscribe.